Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what's for dinner. We've got some super easy and delicious weeknight meals for you guys. We did eat out once, but of course I share that in this video. Today's video is in collaboration with Aubrey over at Happily Aubrey. She is a newer YouTuber. She's been, she actually took a little break and then she is back at it. So she's really trying to grow her channel now. So she shares similar content like I do. She does staying alive. What's for dinners, grocery hauls, all that good stuff. So I know you guys are going to really enjoy her channel. She is so sweet and down to earth. So make sure you go over when you're done with this video and check out her channel and let her know that I sent you. Make sure you comment on her video and tell her that I sent you. I will have all her information listed in the description box below so y'all can go and check her out. But let's go ahead and get started. It is Sunday night and Luke is still home. So we are gonna cook up these steaks that we picked up at Meyer, and he's getting a grill started. And then I'm going to do like some roasted veggies and kind of clean out what veggies that need to be used in the fridge. I've had these rainbow carrots in there for a few weeks. They're starting to get kind of pitiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and roast some of them up. Got some potatoes from the pantry. Got half of an onion from the fridge, and then I've got some zucchini that's on its last leg. So I'm just gonna kinda do some roasted veggies with what we've got here at the house and use it up before it goes bad. So I've got my onions, my carrots, and my potatoes in here. I went ahead and cut up one zucchini, but I'm gonna add it in towards the end because it doesn't take near as long as the potatoes and the carrots will. Um, so I will add those in towards the end. I did only do one because I know that's gonna be enough for us. And I don't want too many leftovers because just because I need to use it up so it doesn't go to waste, just because I cook it, it could still go to waste. So I'm going to take and shred this up and make some um, zucchini muffins. I have a recipe for the zucchini muffins on my channel. I think I will have it linked. Um, like I said, if, I think I have a recipe for it. If not, then I will soon. <laughs> but if I do have it on my channel and I find it, I will have it linked for you guys. But it is, they're really, really delicious. So I'll use that one for that recipe. And then I'm just gonna use this one to go in with our mixed veggies. So I'm going to add in some oil. I normally like to use olive oil, but I am completely out and I did not realize it. So I'm just gonna use some regular vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna go in with some yellow cavenders. We like ours seasoned heavily, so you just season with your heart, season what you know your family is going to enjoy. I'm also gonna use some of this Kinder's red garlic. We love this stuff, y'all already know. And then a little bit of salt. oven preheating to 400. And then I'm just going to dump these on a cookie sheet. And whenever I add the zucchini in, I'll just season them the same way. Thank you. 
it is Monday night and I'm going to be making nachos for dinner tonight and since I'm going ahead and making taco meat I need to taco meat for another recipe for an upcoming video so I thought I would go ahead just cook a whole three pounds and then divide it up and pop it in the freezer whenever I need it next so I've got three pounds of hamburger meat in here half of it will be for a recipe for tonight and then the rest like I said I'll pop it in the freezer until I need it um, later so that's cooking up I and mean, we'll just add y'all know how to make taco meat add taco seasoning and make you some taco meat but while I'm doing that I am putting up the hamburger meat that I picked up at Myers because it was on sale if you've seen my grocery haul video then you already seen um, this but I thought I would share this tip it's been a long time since I've shared it on here. So we always buy the three pound logs of hamburger meat whenever we can find them on sale. And this is my favorite way to store them because it takes up way less space because they're all flat and they're easy to store in a deep freeze or in your regular freezer. And it doesn't take near as much room up compared to like if you just left it like this as a log. <laughs> like if you left it like this, um, and Winston's playing outside, sorry. So, sorry if it's loud. But I took and cut it in half, which we store our hamburger meat in a pound and a half um, instead of a pound. We've always done our hamburger meat that way. We've always done it a pound and a half at a time because um, we like leftovers because Luke takes them to work. I eat, them, eat on them through the week. But I take, cut the log in half, split it down where I can easily get it out, and then I'll pop it out and then I just completely flatten it as much as I can in your freezer bag. And then these will just go directly into your deep freeze or your freezer. And like I said, it takes up way less space. So if you need some more space in your freezer and you don't do this, highly recommend it. So here is our spread for the nachos. I've got the restaurant style chips, got some black beans that have been rinsed and drained, got some corn that has been drained, some black olives, that's just for me and Winston. Some onions, which is just for Luke. Got our ground beef, and like I said, I'm using some of it for this recipe and then the rest of it for another recipe or maybe two. Got some shredded cheese. We've got our favorite cheese dip. This comes from Sam's, it is so good. And then we got sour cream and some salsa. As y'all know, you can add anything and everything that you want that your family's going to enjoy to the tops of your nachos. This is what we like, but y'all, you add whatever you want to. I've got my oven preheated at 400. I'm just gonna pop these in until the cheese is melted and everything's heated through. Pesto chicken is one of our favorite recipes. I have a whole separate video on this, so I'll have it linked down below. Next up, we made some chicken and bacon ranch quesadillas. We went off the meal plan for this, but y'all, it was so worth it. These were delicious. So I took two chicken breasts and I just cut them into small pieces, seasoned it up with some of our favorite seasoning. And then Luke did this all on the Blackstone and I'm telling y'all, this was so good. So first we just cooked up the chicken, made sure that it was cooked through, and then we assembled our quesadillas. We chose, we had regular ranch and we also had spicy ranch. And then we used Colby Jack cheese. We had some bacon bits. You can just build these according to your preference. However, whatever cheese you want, whatever ranch you want, we just did kind of a couple of both. And this was so good.
these were so delicious and they were even good leftover heated up in the air fryer we just served it along with some mac and cheese i just recently shared how i make my instant pot box mac and cheese so i will have that video linked down below for you guys next up we've got sloppy joe's y'all i don't have a recipe for this <laughs> I just add and taste and add and taste till I think it's good. I have got a pound and a half of hamburger meat there that I have just cooked and drained. You can also dice some onion and add in that also. I didn't this time. I just kept it simple. And I love doing sloppy joes in the crock pot because you can literally just throw everything in there and forget about it for about two hours and then you're good to go. So I always add in some ketchup, some mustard, some Worcestershire whatever seasonings you like I really like to use that 1836 beef rub or the SPG and then I also add in some brown sugar and I add in some tomato sauce like I said I don't have a recipe y'all can kind of see if you're an eyeballer like I am you can kind of see what I'm putting in if you do want a recipe for this let me know in the comments down below and I will work on getting an actual recipe like make it again measure everything out and you know type it out for you guys so y'all just let me know and here it is after a couple hours luke and winston both really enjoyed this i just served it with some tater tots and potato wedges that we had in the freezer and i ate fish tacos i have not ate sloppy joes since last December when I had the stomach virus and it did not go well <laughs> so I haven't ate them since so I fixed myself fish tacos because I couldn't stomach sloppy joes again after that for Friday night's dinner it's just me and Winston we are having McDonald's got me a burger and fries we're sharing the fries and he's got chicken nuggets and then I also picked up some extra chicken nuggets just because it was cheaper to get a 20 count um as weird as that sounds but I still wanted I wanted some chicken nuggets and I wanted a burger so I wanted both <laughs> but this is dinner for Friday night We are getting a dinner going. Luke is firing up the grill. We've got two chicken breasts here and I just trimmed what I needed to trim off and we are going to season them with some of our favorite garlic pepper John Henry's and the Kinder's red garlic. Y'all know recently these have been our two go-tos. We love this combination together. Um, so last, last weekend, I think. Uh, Luke and I had a little date day, and we ran up to um, this outlet mall that had the Pepper Plaza, and we picked up this sweet bourbon glaze from there, so we're going to put glaze our chicken with this today. It tasted so good, so, so good. So we're going to do some sweet bourbon glaze on our chicken, and then I'm going to fix, I have this kid's dinosaur mac pasta in the pantry, so we're going to use this and make us some mac and cheese to go with it. I probably will either do green beans or broccoli. I haven't decided yet. I know Luke will pick broccoli, so I might do broccoli. This is away from our meal plan. I had planned on doing um, chicken alfredo, but Luke says he wants to grill, so y'all know I'm all up for that. For the broccoli, I just steamed it in the bag, dumped it out in this container, casserole dish, whatever you want to call it. I put some of this fake butter on it, and I put some of the garlic pepper seasoning, and it is so good. I've been eating it out of the dish. The burgers are done. Winston doesn't like chicken unless it's chicken nuggets 
or chicken strips. So we cooked him a burger plus two extra and a half for leftovers. The mac and cheese is done and we are waiting on um, the chicken. Y'all, that bourbon glaze was so good. I ended up pouring some on my plate and dipping it, and it was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this What's for Dinner video. Hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. Don't forget that this video was in collaboration with Aubrey. I will have all her information listed in the description box below. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.